In this example, we have 8 times 8 times 8. What they want us to do is write this equation exponentially. So our base is always going to be the actual number that we're multiplying. So our base is going to be 8. Our exponent is going to be how many of them do I have? I have 3 there. So my answer is going to be 8 to the 3rd, which is A. Number 2. We have 6 times 3 to the 3rd. So we're going to write this out. 6 times 3. 3 to the 3rd is 3 times 3 times 3. Our base is 3, and the exponent was 3, so that means I need 3 of them. And then I'm going to multiply. When you multiply, you can multiply from whichever side, or whichever one's first. So I'm going to multiply these first. 3 times 3, I get 9. Bringing everything else down. 3 times 9. I get 27. I still have to multiply by 6. So 27 times 6. 6 times 7 is 42. 6 times 2 is 12 plus my 4. I get 16. So we get 162 as our answer. Number 3. We have an evaluate here. So we have 9 over 4x squared, and they're telling us when x is negative 5. So that means instead of x, I'm plugging in negative 5. So 9 divided by 4 times parenthesis negative 5, because we're including that negative with that 5, squared. Order of operations tells us to do the squared first. So I still have the 9 on the top, I still have that 4, and I'm going to do this exponent, negative 5 squared. Negative 5 squared is the same thing as negative 5 times negative 5. So a negative times a negative is a positive, and 5 times 5 is 25. Then we just um, multiply the bottom. So we have 4 times 25, I get 100. I can't simplify that any further. Therefore, our answer is 9 over 100.